All right. I didn't want to have to do this, but I guess I got no choice. So there's the pulse hole right there. And how you tell if that's working, friends? Uh, the, the, the best way to do it is just um, basically pull on it. And I'll have to put you guys down, but you can spray a little bit of WD, anything in there, move it, whatever you want. Just spray it in the, in the hole, hold the saw and pull on this and you should see, <laughs> it should squirt out of there. You should get some type of action. But here we are, we're out of here. Um, I'm actually going to clean this up while I'm in here. I'm, I'm going to, but the, the, here's the deal. Uh, I'm really surprised that the fuel line is okay, but I, I've never worked on this. Not once, never even, no, not a flat, but I guess they're called flat something, flat top or flat bottom or some bloody thing. Flat bottom girls. I don't know. Anyway, the fuel line's in, intact. Everything's good, but I guess the diaphragm's in there. I can't see it being anywhere else. So I'm going in. Yeah, I'm going to, I, yeah, but the gasket was hooped. Jeremy Bell, I'm talking to you. Remember we, the pulse line there, it was a bit not good, but I got to get in here now. I got to get, I got to get this clean here. So if I put this, like, oh dear. Yeah. You see, I got to get in here and, and clean that out of there. Get all this gasket out. I'm hoping friends, I'm hoping, um, Hey, what's going on? Yeah, good. I'm hoping I've got a gasket, to be honest with you. I I don't know. I think I used them all for, unless I got one sitting here, which, uh-oh. Oh. Hey, what's that? Come out here, you. Come up here. Uh-oh. Friends, it looks good. <laughs> this is my carcass, 200 here, which is the same. I, I'm, I'm praying. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's looking good. Yeah, that's the gasket I need right there. That's it. You see, it it should be. I, I, I don't see why this won't work. Right, friends? All right, I'm back at her, friends. I, I, this bugs me when I, I, gotta, I gotta go down the road. I think I've, oh, this looks, I don't know about this. I, I think I might tear it. I don't, I don't wanna do that. Yeah, I think someone's glued that right on. Well, I'm gonna have to get a a, a, a peeler or something because it's it was hooped, like like hooped. It's gone. It's toast. There's remnants on it. I gotta clean this off. But I'm thinking, unless I've got, you know what, friends? Just a minute now. Just just a cotton picking minute. Let's. Hang on. We do have gaskets here and we have parts. So I think I can scarf, we can scarf. Yeah. Okay. We got parts. We're gonna give it a shot, but I'm gonna get a scraper cause I gotta see if I can get this gasket off of here. Look at that friend. Look at the kind of stuff I got going on here. With my, my thingamabobber. Yeah. This is cool. <laughs> I like it. It's good. I could even move you guys back, but this is good. Okay. I've got to see if I can somehow, maybe I'll get some spray. It's getting cold actually. Very cold. I think if I put a little lube, maybe. No, it's, it's doing okay. It's, it's, Might get some air. Air might help nicely, actually. Because if I can kind of put air in amongst the. Okay. 
does that mean? It's on there. It's like someone loo um uh what do you call it on there? The gasket sealed it on there? You guys can see it, eh? I wonder if some heat might do it. What do you guys think about heat? Well, I mean, I've done way worse. There's the pulse hole. I can clean that up. It should be okay. I know it's barbaric, but it's there. I mean, I could check the other one to see if it comes off a little better, but I think this is the one, friends. Um, actually it's not, it's not even the right one. Okay, talk to you in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't. You know what? I'm just gonna clean it up and put it back together because it actually doesn't feel stiff and ruined. Okay. <clears throat> okay, friends, I'm on this carb here and I've never seen anything like it. I've never worked on a carburetor like this. And I'm seeing some crazy stuff. I don't have the gasket that was torn to shreds. I just don't have it. Um, don't know if it's available. Uh, I know you can make gaskets. I, I, I'm gonna probably have to. Um, it, it looks like it only had one open hole, which was the, obviously the, the um, pulse hole. There was nothing else. So there's nothing else open on the carburetor just the just the one hole so i think if i just made a gasket and put a hole right there where the you know where the pulse hole was that that would do it uh this one's not going to work unfortunately it's from a different model different intake um yeah so i'm kind of i got beat on that so let's check the uh the pulse line let's put a little bit of fuzz in there like that and then pull on it oh yeah i'll put that right in the front of there here let's fill that up a bit seems like it's spitting so that's good 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 okay whoa all right uh Okay, here we're in. There's a staple. Oh, look at that. See, I've never seen this. This is this is all new to me. But there's there's actual staples in this. I, I've never seen this before. So I gotta be careful. This is stapled together, friends. Look at this. It's literally stapled together, these two, which I guess isn't a terrible deal. <laughs> it's stapled right there and there. I don't know. I don't know. Friends, good morning. It's Thursday morning. I'm building a video. Last night, I took this part. You'll see in this video. Well, you've probably just seen it because this is after all that stuff. I put this thing. I went at it like the first video you saw. And then this one now, uh, I went after it. I went after the carburetor. I pulled it off like this. I've got it all tore down again right here, right now. And it, it, it's, the bear got me. 
You know, I use the old terminology. Some days that you get the bear and some days the bear gets you. Well, the bear got me last night and I got kind of, well, I don't get down because I know there's always another day. I just like things to work out. But like I say, the bear was in the yard last night and he got me the bugger, okay? Straight up. So here it is. Your character is built upon how hard you can get hit and get back up and keep going. I love that one. And it's the truth. So here it is. Uh, I've torn it all back down again. So this video shows me kind of just playing around here and this, you know, you just saw it and that. Well, I, I actually fired it all up late last night and uh, it didn't go. It did the same thing. I fired up and ran on this primer. This is a primer and it's on the side of the carburetor. It's right there. It's a little primer, you see? And, and, it, and, it, and it works, but I'm not drawing fuel. And I don't know why that is. I'm gonna find out. I got a couple of tricks I'm gonna try. I was talking to the Iron Horse last night. We were on the exact same page. He figures I'm close. <laughs> the bell hopper too. He gave, he gave me some, I always call those two fellas, eh? Anyway, listen friends, the end of this video is me the other night playing around in my garden because it's dormancy. That's when we plant our trees and that's when trees do the best when you plant them in dormancy. I had a couple of root bound trees. Uh, one was a beautiful cedar. I'll just show it to you real briefly right now. It's right here and we planted it. It was a beautiful spot for it. It's right there. It kind of contoured. Friends, when you're planting trees, placement is really, really important. That's why half the tree work uh, uh, happens is because of, of, of uh, improper planting of a tree where it gets planted in the wrong spot. So this is not planted in the wrong spot. It's contours with the driveway. See, we come up and it curves with this here. So it's growth splays out to the side. I call it splaying, see that? Just kind of splays that way and this way. Uh, and, and it's lovely. And another thing, I think I talk about it in the video, so I'm not going to go on. Enjoy the end of this video. It's a little gardening. Uh, Bucking's a green thumb too. He's not just a slash cut and burn. <laughs> okay, friends, be kind to one another. Enjoy the video. I'm going to get this freaking power saw going. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to give it another kick at the cat. So let's run this one to the gauntlet and I'll take it as far as we can. Then we'll move on to some different content. So, here's our little project for the night. Uh, well, it's supposed to be today, but see, this is a little plant that we've had from my mom's. I got from my mom's, the cedar. And she's had it and been pruning and primping for years on it. And it, it is a beautiful little bugger. I love when this light goes on, friends, when I, when I do my videos. I, I never, it never did before, but this thing's gnarly, okay? Mom had it on her deck for, oh gosh, 10 years? Maybe more, Pro probably more, I, I don't know. To be, but look at how gnarly and neat the limbs are in that, friends. Look at, hey, it's deadly. But it was kind of one-sided because she had it up against the deck. You know, she lived in an apartment building, so she had that up against the deck, you see? So it's heavy to this way. And here it is from the backside. Our view is like this from, from here's the house. So there's our little, neat little weeping spruce in there. But there it is there. It, it really is a neat tree, friends. I love it. Mom was going to something. But look at the symmetry it's got. It's almost like bonsai. It's got these, you know, it, it's a beauty. Like a, you guys, if you guys hang around here till I'm in my 70s and 80s with me, because I'm going to be a freaking, I'm going to be a force to be reckoned with. Let me tell you that right now. God willing, it's going to be, and I will have trees in my life forever. And I will plant and nurture and prune and, and I love I love trees. So this is a beautiful little tree. I'll show it to you in the in the in the daylight. But I just finished planting it. And planting in the right spot is all and positioning, friends. So you can see the natural splay, I call it splay of this tree, is like this and like that. It splays out. You can see it there, see? So how is you got traffic coming in? Here's the driveway comes up we turn around this corner here see like this and go down the driveway so you come up so you see what i did you see it there i didn't want to splay it into the house I, I i thought about it i had it 180 degrees and and the only reason why i didn't that didn't do that friends and i'll tell you why i'll tell you why i didn't do that because on this side of the tree you've got a lot of bark exposed see it it's like a ton of bark and you can get sun scald on these. You will get sun scald. Look, see all this bark? This is all exposed on this side. Lots of it because 
mum had it up against the thing. There's only little bits of foliage here hiding the bark from the sun. It is a really cool little tree, friends. Like it is, a little twin, little codom there, little twin coming off the ground. Uh, but gorgeous, mum put a little, look at mum. She dropped a couple little wires in here to cable embrace it. <laughs> look at it, friends. You see, so I'll keep an eye on that. There's another one right there down to these little limbs. It's a hell of an idea. Mum's, mum's, my mum's got a green thumb. So I chose to put the shaded most spot out the front. So now the sun will protect all the bark on this tree. It just will. So isn't that neat, friends? Gorgeous little tree. More will be revealed. Plant in dormancy. And then we've got this maple to do. So um, it's going right there. It is spectacular. Like it's a beauty. So this is coming together. You don't want to crowd your, your, your things, friends. You know what I mean? You don't want to crowd them. Crowding is a problem. Here's a beautiful big Himalayan uh, uh, dwarf weeping Diodora or Atlas cedar. It is, it is just glorious, this thing. These grow like mad. I highly recommend planting these trees. They are beautiful to look at at all times of year. They don't, they just shed their needle and, and that's it. You don't ever notice a difference in color. What's beautiful is when the fresh green growth comes out in the spring and it just trails down and cascades down. It is a glorious tree. We planted this thing along with it. It's another cedar variety. Uh, we, we had it down in amongst it. It's not bad. I wouldn't say crowding at this point. Uh, it was it was going to be more more ground cover and a little bit of green just to begin with. Who knows what will happen there. Uh, I don't think they will compete. We, we may at some point do something there. But but this is glorious. So so what this was, when this tree, when we planted it, friends, it was a little twig that came up and went over like that. So I chose to plant it with the, with the, the, the main leader twisting and going over this way. And you can see what's happened to it. You see, house side, we knew we had our landscape idea, so we didn't want it growing that away. So positioning on planting is huge. This is what I envisioned, manifest. You talk about manifestation, well, similar idea. This was the plan for this. We had an idea of a little river rock with the, with the limbs cascading over the river. Well, this is what we have here now. Here's the little river, little river and bigger stone and this couldn't have turned out better for us there's a little river going up there to the house see it flows down with the cascading limbs over top of the so that was our that was our plan that was our landscape plan with some rock in there and it and it, it worked out beautifully there's a little granite stone in there see it okay so we did a pruning here oh pruning here it was starting to come out this way which they will do and kept it back from the path so this has been amazing. And here's our upper, upper landscape. Not the Merc. Spruce, weeping spruce, I love them. Yeah, so I know it's dark, but, but I like that little sucker. You see how we, we did that? We splayed it to the landscape. Looks good. Okay, just a little, you know, little evening landscape with Bucken. So yeah, Hoagie did a good day climbing today. He was rigging out for Victor. We're shutting the saw shop down here now and getting clothes going in for some tacos. Over and out, friends. Thanks for watching.